I have seen this city when this city had only five Mercedes cars. One, two, three, four, five. I've seen the evolution. The first time I came to Baku, I was really blown away. I had no idea that it was such a beautiful city. You look at the city now. Azerbaijan physically is located in a really unique part of the world. It's a lot of different intersecting cultures and ideas. The diverse range of things you can do in this city, everything from, from a the ancient period, like touring the old city, and also uh, the Soviet era stuff, the, the, the velodrome, Luna Park, and then uh, the modern stuff. You can do the, the 8D cinema, the Parc Boulevard, Thriving, chaotic, adventurous. It is amazing, interesting, and different from all that you know. A bit noisy, a bit windy, and warm in terms of how people generally treat you. Light, windy, <laughs> and uh, uh, if you're coming to Baku, you take a money, you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> but it's nice, beautiful, and like there are many places that you can go. Filled with um, culture, fastly developing and waiting to be discovered by people from my part of the world. It's an exciting city, it's developing faster than anybody can even imagine. Historical, modern and uh, musical. I'd have to say that the oil bath in Naftalan was probably the best experience I've ever had. Uh, nowhere else in the world can you actually sit down in a bathtub full of oil. It's just a really, really unique experience. One of my first days here, I. Uh couldn't find my apartment, I had to go into a small restaurant to ask for, a, for the restaurant. People just approached to me and they started asking, where are you from? The moment I said I was from Argentina, I was studying here, they got so happy. They invited me to a, to a birthday party they were having. They just stuffed me with food, gave me a drink, we danced all night, and I just wanted directions to get to my home. And <laughs> end up spending the whole night with this, uh, this group of people that I never met in my whole life. With some friends, I owned a 1980 Lada. In this car, we've traveled all over Azerbaijan. And it was actually a really amazing way to see the country and to meet people because it's always breaking down and people are always very, very willing to help, you know, fix the car, diagnose what was wrong, help us to get on our way. I have to save my wife, otherwise she'd kill me. The food by far, I love the food. The people. Possibility. The opportunity. Dance and music. They are so warm and so hospitable and so there for you whenever you need it. I get to work with young people, so I see a lot of bright, talented young people. The city is uh, very inspirational to me. Often I go to jazz club. Uh, there is a very good jazz club in Baku. Well, I couldn't do what I do here in Canada. I mean, the dance moves, especially for guys, it's kind of energetic. I love dancing as every dances. There's that opportunity that doesn't really exist outside of, uh, of this country. When I think of Azerbaijan, I just think of the possibility that they hold for the future.